Welcome back to Mr. S Travel Quest. Today we're visiting Lake Mineral Well State Park. We're gonna go over the entrance fee of the park, points of interest and trails, and finish it off visiting the lake. Come join us. Lake Mineral Wells State Park and Trailway is a Texas state park located in Mineral Wells, Texas. Park entrance fee is $7 daily and children under 12 are free. After passing the park headquarters, you can see Lake Mineral Wells. We decided to park to check out the lake and park store. Lake Mineral Wells is a CCC park and is one of the first Civilian Conservation Corps camps in Texas. Let's check out the store and see what they have. The store has everything you need from drinks, snacks, and canned food. This is convenient since the town is a few miles away from the park. You can purchase coffee mugs or some common canned food items. In the back of the store, you can find shirts and souvenirs. You can also purchase some fishing supplies here. You also don't need a fishing license since the lake's in the park's boundaries. You can rent canoes, kayaks, and paddle boats. I'll link the state park website in the description for more info. Before leaving the store, I saw this cool vending machine. Have you ever seen a live bait tackle vending machine before? This was the first for me. Next we travel across the spillway. This was pretty cool since we were under the water level. I wanted to check out some of the campgrounds and find some good spots for our next visit. So that's where we're off to next. This park has something for everyone when it comes to camping. They have screen shelters, primitive hiking camping, tent camping, and RV camping. I would recommend cabin shelter 6 and 7 since they are near the water. Leave a like if you enjoy outdoor adventures and subscribe to the channel to learn more before you visit a Texas state park. And now we check out the Lone Star Amphitheater and Point of Interest. We parked and checked out the Lone Star Amphitheater. You can rent this and hold events. If you walk past this, you will be on a trailway, which you can hike, bike, and horseback on. The trailway has over 20 miles of reclaimed railroad bed. On my next visit, I'm definitely bringing my bike to check it out. We visit Penitentiary Hollow and visit Point of Interest 2 and 3. Lake Mineral Well State Park is one of the few natural rock climbing venues in North Texas. To climb, there is a small fee of $3 and a waiver needs to be signed. I'll link the information for that in the description below. They even have bolted anchors already placed on the rock. We took our time and enjoyed the views from Penitentiary Hollow Overlook. You get a great view of Lake Mineral Wells from this rustic overlook. You can check out the photos we took on our Instagram page at Mr. S Travel Quest. We continue down the Red Waterfront Trail. On this trail, you can see point of interest 1, 2, and 3. Watch your step as you walk down the CCC built stairway. We are making our way to see point of interest 1. Point of interest number 1, the Four Cedar Elms. This part of the park was awesome. Since it was well shaded, we didn't feel any of that Texas heat. On the Red Waterfront Trail, this area of the park is for rock climbing and hiking only. They had a small cave that you can cross into, which was pretty neat. Walking into Penitentiary Hollow was a cool part of the trail. No trips complete without visiting this part of the park. We spent some time in this area exploring, taking pictures, and even climbing some rocks. You can definitely spend some hours here in the hollows. The waterfront trail is considered moderate. The terrain is rocky with some elevation. What's great about this trail that is well shaded. And when you're done, you can head back up and enjoy a picnic with the original CCC built picnic tables and enjoy the view. Now we check out Point of Interest 3. This part of the park is full of wonderful information and history. Here you can experience what North Texas used to look like for Native Americans and settlers who lived here over 300 years ago. Only 5% of the old growth forest remains in the cross timber ecosystem. 
Many of these trees are older than your great great grandparents and longer than Texas has been a state. We are getting closer to the lake. This trail is also on the red waterfront trail. The markers are well placed throughout the trail. They have a small dock that you can fish from. I'd love listening to the wind and water from this. Let's hear the sounds from Mineral Wells Lake. Don't just stop at the park, you have to check out the town mineral wells to see the Baker Hotel and try out some of the crazy water. This town and state park was built around mineral water. The Baker Hotel was built in the early 1920s and was considered the South's best health resort. Famous people from all over traveled here, like Julie Garland from The Wizard of Oz, The Three Stooges, and even Bonnie and Clyde stayed here. At the time of this video, they are working on a $65 million renovation project to bring this hotel back to life. We decided to check out downtown and grab a bite to eat. I recommend checking out the pizza shop if you decide to come to town. We asked around where we can get some crazy water and they directed us to 6th Street and mineral wells. The crazy water has been around since 1881 and we had to try some for ourselves. The store has history of the town, water and souvenirs for you to purchase. Unfortunately, no free samples were available due to COVID-19 concerns. No worries, we purchased some water and even tried the flavored soda water and it was delicious. If you plan on visiting Lake Mineral Well State Park, definitely make plans to visit the town and try out the crazy water. You won't be disappointed. What did you think of Lake Mineral Wells State Park? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I always enjoy reading the comments. If you haven't already, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I post video like this all the time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.